This month, we at The Real Review are featuring our list of the top wineries of Australia 2022. And so we have five Shirazes here, all produced by a winery which is on the top wineries list. Hinchke, Beckers, Pepper Tree and Clarnet. Those wines are 2017, the Hinchke, the Wheelwright, a single vineyard, Eden Valley Shiraz. Then we have Beckers from McLaren Vale, 2017, 2019, I'm sorry, Syrah. And Pepper Tree Coquan, which is 2019 Shiraz from the Hunter Valley. It's a premium blend. It's not a single vineyard wine. But then we're going to taste the, its, its little brother or its big brother. The Pepper Tree Talawanta 2019 Shiraz from the Hunter Valley as well, which is a single vineyard wine. And finally, from the Grampians in Victoria, we have Clarnet 2020 Shiraz. I'm Hugh and Hook, and you're watching The Real Review. So the wine we're tasting now is Henschke, the Wheelwright 2017 single vineyard Shiraz from the Eden Valley, which of course is the home of the home ter turf of the Henschke family. Um, Henschke, of course, is one of the great wineries of Australia and it is featured in our the Real Review's Top Wineries of Australia 2022 list. I know this is going to be good because I've had it before. And when I smell that, I smell Eden Valley. It's got a characteristic aroma that all of the Henschke red wines have to a greater or lesser degree. There's a lot of raspberry there, firstly, but there's also this, this array of, of dried herb characters, which are really, really nice. Thyme and oregano amongst them, really, really lovely aromas, very complex and very alluring. It, it attracts you, it makes you want to have a taste. Let's have a taste. And the first thing that I notice about that is not its power or its weight, it's the elegance of it. Lovely, lovely balance, feels really good in your mouth, feels symmetrical, feels harmonious. Uh, there are no sharp edges. The tannins are there, definitely got tannin, but they're soft and fine tannins that just gloss over your tongue without creating any astringency. Beautiful balance. What would we serve that with? I think something lamby would be really good with that. If you could do a, a roast leg of lamb with a lot of rosemary on it, I think the herbal characters of the rosemary suits lamb so well and will come will make a, a nice synergy with the aromas and flavours in this wine. The wine we're tasting now is Becker's McLaren Vale Syrah, and it's from the 2019 vintage. Becker's, of course, is one of our top wineries of the year for Australia for 2022. Um, they are certainly one of the most exciting wineries around and one of the top wineries in McLaren Vale. Okay, let's have a taste of this Becker's Syrah. And the bouquet is extraordinarily complex. Um, where do I start with a bouquet like that? It's not, it's not difficult to, to, to find um, many, many, many adjectives to describe that nose. Spicy, certainly. Probably more of the spices and the peppery character than you normally find in McLaren Vale wines. But um, there are graphite, um, stony, you know, pencil lead characters in there too. There are earthy, earthy aromas. There's a, a touch of the, um, the, the smoky, smoked charcuterie kind of thing. And there, there it is. That's a, such an elegant but intense wine. It's not a big heavy wine. It's not a big fat chocolatey wine like you can find down there in the Vale. And the tannins are beautifully crafted. It has this lovely texture to it, silky texture. It's not grippy, it's not astringent. It's, uh, it, it's very polished wine, really, really smart stuff. A wine that's very, very adaptable, I think, with food. It's got a savouriness to it, which goes with a lot of food, but red meats, of course, immediately spring to mind. And because it's, it's not such a bold, fruity wine, but a more savoury and more 
uh, more nuanced wine. I think the flavors of a long, slow, simmered, um, slow cooked piece of meat would be really, really good with this. So the wine we're tasting today is Pepper Tree Coquan, Hunter Valley Shiraz 2019. Um, it's, this is one of the top Shirazes that they produce at Pepper Tree, which is of course a, a company that's based in the Hunter Valley, but which also makes wine from Orange and Coonawarra and Rat and Bully. Let's have a taste. But the nose is captivating. The nose is really quite complex and individual. I haven't smelled a wine like that, quite like that for quite a while. And certainly not from the Hunter. I can smell not only berries, but the red berries like raspberries, but over the top of that is a much more important um, array of dried herb characters. There's certainly a bit touch of marjoram and a touch of sage. I can smell both of those quite clearly there, but there's also pepper, um, white pepper, I would say, rather than black. Also, there's a little, little tinge of eucalypt in there as well, which is not unusual in this part of the Hunter Valley. Let's have a taste. Mmm, beautiful, beautiful wine. Seamless wine, medium to full bodied, which is a classic, I think, Hunter Valley weight. You rarely find very full bodied wines in the Hunter, but you quite often find light to medium bodied red wines made from Shiraz and the Hunter. I think it's, uh, it's what the region naturally makes. The tannins in that wine are so soft, they're hardly noticeable, but they're there. They're, they're there and just giving the right amount of structure and mouthfeel to the wine to help it go with food. What would we have with this in the way of food? I'm thinking, I'm thinking um, slow braised brisket or shoulder of, of, um, of, uh, of mutton or lamb. Something like that, that is quite fatty and, and is slow cooked so that it's really um, flaky and supple and melt in the mouth. It would go really well with this wine. The wine we're about to taste is Pepper Tree Talawanta, single vineyard Shiraz from the Hunter Valley, uh, 2019 vintage, which was a very, very good vineyard, vintage in the Hunter. Pepper Tree, of course, is one of our top wineries of the year, 2022, and we're featuring those wines at the moment. Let's have a little taste of it. And the aromas are really, really good. There's depth and there's fortitude, there's strength in that aroma. There's ironstone graphite sort of characters. There's, there's earthiness, there's um, maybe a hint of leather. Uh, clean leather that is, raspberry plum in the background, but overall it's a savoury kind of wine, not a fruity wine. Very much in traditional hunter style. Let's have a taste. It's a powerful wine. It's concentrated, old vine concentration. It's got intensity. It's got, it's not, it's, it's almost full bodied, I would say, which is probably at the more powerful end of Hunter Valley Shiraz spectrum. Uh, and the tannins are quite present. The tannins are more um, grainy tannins, earthy tannins, very savory. And uh, this is a wine that's got, um, got real presence to it. It's got fortitude, it's got gravitas. What would I serve this wine with? I suggest uh, hard cheese such as cheddar or, or um, Parmigiana or um, Comte even, one of those lovely French or Swiss style cheeses from the east coast, the um, eastern part of, uh, of France. Well, the wine we're about to taste is Clarnet Shiraz from the Grampians region of Victoria, 2020 vintage. Of course, Clarnet is, uh, is one of our top wineries of the year for 2022. Lee Clarnet is quite a, an accomplished winemaker. I first met him, I think, when he was in the Yarra Valley. He's worked in the Yarra, he's worked in the Pyrenees, and he's worked in the Grampians region for some time now. And the bouquet is beautifully aromatic. It's got a lot of red fruits. So there's red cherry, raspberry, 
maybe even um, a bit touch of blueberry. But there are spicy, peppery characters there as well, which you expect from a cooler climate, such as Grampians. Mm. The wine is medium to full-bodied. It's not a big wine. Um, there can be some quite full-bodied wines in the Grampians district. This wine has got a lovely approachability to it. Um, the tannins of this district can be quite firm and quite minerally. There's a long, long finish. There's great elegance to it. It's not heavy. The tannins are beautifully, uh, beautifully sculpted, not clunky or astringent tannins. And the food match for this wine, I'm thinking something peppery because the wine is quite peppery. So anything peppery would be good. Pepper steak or a pepper crusted roast of some sort uh, would be delicious. Cheers. If you've enjoyed this, follow us and subscribe to The Real Review.